Hey everybody, welcome back to Sim Casino. We're gonna start today off with our theater area, but just before we get to that, and I'll explain what these zones and stuff are in a little bit. Just before we get to that though, I wanna make an adjustment. These bathrooms that we put in at the end of the last video, they kind of stick out from this balcony and I've decided I really don't like that. Now, right now, there's no floor here. So technically you could just, you know, peeping Tom your way across the top of this thing, which is obviously not what we want to have. Uh, so I thought about putting a floor on it, but to put a floor on it actually looks pretty bad too. Uh, let, me, let me show you what I mean. If I just pick like something, I don't know, these, this dark color here, why not? And we just spread this across the top. I still don't like how it looks. It's almost like people can just, even if I put this railing back, right? This railing right here, let's just say hypothetically we, we do this anyway. It's, it's, it still doesn't look good, all right? I just don't, I just don't like it, you know? And I'd like to nest it back in. That's, that's where I really want it. I want this whole thing nested right underneath this. So uh, what we're gonna do is, first I'm gonna remove this floor, because it needs to be removed. Then what we're gonna do, I've cleared off the area behind these, all right? I've cleared it out and I've moved this stuff back. I've gotten rid of some of the gambling machines and stuff. And what I'm hoping I can do is to just take this and I want to put it like right here, basically, right? I want this, the, the front part of this building to line up with this. So again, I can't move whole structures. I really wish I could. I, I just can't do it. So what we're going to have to do here, unfortunately, is we're going to have to tear it down. Now, luckily, I think I can do a direct copy-paste with this one, I think, because there's enough space behind it. So if I was to clone this whole thing right here and just put this, yeah, like right here, all right? And if I do this, so let me check really quick. This is the... Uh, well, yeah, it, it's basically where the squares are on this. So that's, this is the, the end of it. So I want it to line up with that. So I'd have to put it, the bathrooms I mean, I basically have to put it right on this wall, which I can't really do right now. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. It's a little more expensive, but this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this right here, all of this, and I'm just gonna pop it right here for now, okay? That's gonna give me something I can clone later. Then we're gonna tear all of this down. Everything must go. Dismantle, go. Okay, and that includes the walls, everything. Okay, we're gonna take down all of it. It's more expensive to do it this way, I think, but um, I think ultimately it's gonna be faster to get this done. I'm just gonna move this. Uh, let's get rid of the walls, there we go. Let's dezone everything. And everything is kind of restored to what it was, aside from the floor, which we can do like so. Okay, so this is back to normal. At least it should be. Minus the railing, it just doesn't want to stay. Get it. All right. Now, if I come over here, we're going to do the exact same thing. Right? We're going to just copy everything. It's a big old highlight all kind of thing. Dismantle it all. And then we're just going to remove the walls once more, all the way through here. And we'll just do that, that, that. Right, all of these walls must go. There we go. Let's dezone the whole thing and get the floor put back in. All right, so we've eliminated the bathrooms. I've taken all of it off, but now that I've taken it all away, I can now use this as a template for both. Uh, and that's why I copied it. So, or that's why I pasted it here so that I could use it in here really easily. So I'm gonna take and use, again, I want the, I think I want it to line up where the, should I have the benches sitting out? I think the benches should be indented in too, right? Just a little bit. So it should be about like here, is what I'm seeing. We go about like that instead. Uh, and something is, something is weird. Something is weird. Something is, you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> I don't know what the heck's going on here. Hang on. Um... Hi. Can I help you? I I don't I don't even 
I don't even. Okay, maybe on reload that will be put back. Because it looks like it's in the right spot. It just looks like it's really, you know, also not. <laughs> it looks, it's in the spot, but it's, it's also not in the spot. You know what I mean? Uh, now, this one here, I think I can't indent it all the way back because these machines are in the way. So, what I'm going to have to do here, or I guess they're not really machines, are they? They're just tables. I have to move the tables a little bit in. Move you just a little bit. Yes, I know. You're gambling. That'll make you upset. I'm sorry. Okay. So, that hopefully... Oh, frame rates. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, what we're going to do is clone this. All the way up like this. And we're just going to bring it. It looks like I can get it where I want it now. So, we're going to put it right in line with this. But on this floor... Oh, that's what happened. So, I have to adjust... Oh, that's what happened. I have to adjust it first. Uh, I don't think I have to, though. Do I? Do I have to? Hold on. Can I just, can I just highlight everything? If I highlight everything and say move, can I just move it down where it's get where it goes now? Like like this? Um, g kinda, <laughs> kinda. Why is there a security camera above the bathroom stall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So it looks like a couple of these things are gonna have to be reverted back to where they were, but and that's not that's not bad. I mean, at least I don't have to completely remake it. That's a strange bug. There we go. And there we go. And that's what we do here, okay? We test the boundaries. We test the boundaries of what games are capable of <laughs> by doing silly, stupid things. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and paint the walls. Get those all in, looking good. Okay. Come on over here, make sure all of these are in. Okay, so I think we've pretty much taken care of the bathroom move situation. So now the final step is to get rid of this thing. So we're going to move this, dismantle it all, take down the, the walls once more. All the walls must go. All the walls. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. And that looks right. Dezone all of this. And lay in the floor again. Okay. I have reverted everything, and this is going to look nicer. I think having the bathrooms right under there looks a lot nicer than it used to. What, what is all this? This this can go. Bye. All right. So this is this is restored, right? Sanity restored. All right. We're going to do the theater, all right? But I just wanted to show you sports betting, right? You may think I forgot about it. I didn't. It's going right here. But that's a very easy thing to set up. And I'm going to do that offline. I want to focus on this today. <laughs> he says, uh, you know, nine minutes into the video, we're going to focus on this. Okay. So we have a bunch of different theaters laid out here. One, two, three, four, five big main halls. These two areas are my dressing room reservation zone. The dressing rooms are going to be kind of self-contained, I want to say. In other words, the dressing rooms are going to be capable of getting into any of the theaters from the dressing room. This is the goal. I want to be able to get into any of these theaters directly from the dressing rooms without having to go out into the public area. Now, that's going to be impossible for these two. But other than that, it should be fine. And they should never have to visit or they should never have to go down on the ground floor once they're in costume. All right. So they'll be basically moving all the, all their movement will take place on the uh, the second floor which is what I'm technically looking at right now okay so the first thing I want to do for this is we're gonna build a few walls and the, the the walls of course have to be the too tall the too wide right or yeah the too tall that's what I'm saying uh, so we're gonna go in and just make a wall like this all the way over like so and all the way like that this is our first big zone for the theater now you might be wondering how did i determine how big these are going to be so this this is how big this place is okay they these zones right here are the exact dimensions of the previous big theater from the other casino that's how much bigger this casino is than the last place this is the whole 
The whole theater is this little spot. So we're fitting five of them right here, right? And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this. I'm, I'm tempted to go all the way to the wall here, but I kind of like the idea of providing a walk space around the outside here if they if they want it. And I don't I don't know exactly why I feel that way, but I, I do <laughs> currently all the way over. And we're just going to make the wall areas. Now, we're not going to have a whole lot for the theater yet. Like the actual the actual stages, I mean. Because I need to figure out where my balconies are for this. Where my, my top floors and stuff are for these. So uh, there's going to be a little bit. I'm starting to question these dimensions. Is this really where it was? I mean, yeah. I, I took it directly from the other casino. It, it just seems smaller than I thought it would be. Uh, I'm going to have to double check this just to be sure. Because these are 38 by 20. I don't know what they were in the last one. Now I, I, I thought they were 38 by 20 in the last one, but starting to question my life. Second guessing myself. Okay, so these are all the... Uh, these guys are going to get stuck. We're going to just teleport them to pickups. So they're not in my way anymore. I could I could remove the wall, but it's just too much of a hassle. I'd rather just click them and get them out of here. Okay, so there we go. Next, we're going to have to decide where people are coming in at and where the stage is and all that stuff are going to be. So for this one, the, the stage itself is actually going to be on this side. We're going to pick it right here. Wow, God, this looks so... I mean, it just it just looks like look at how small this is compared to everything. Uh, all right, so it should th hypothetically, I think it goes right here, one of these two spaces. I really don't know. Um, if I dezone to this, this puts me 12 spaces from the stairs on that side, and puts me 13 spaces on this side. So I can't do exact. I can't go exact with this, unfortunately. Just not something it will allow me to do. Okay, well, it's still, the, this is the way it is. I, I, I guess I could, hmm. If I make it one more wide in one direction, I can then get it exactly centered, right? But does it, does that throw off all the other designs? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna see what that's like. So this is uh, one, two, three, four wide here. This one over here would be four wide too then. And just let me double check the width on these. You should be 38. Okay, so you're 37. Whoa, hang on. Oh, did I do 30? Wait, maybe maybe they were 37. I'm going to have to go look at the other casino now, man. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was 37 by 20, but now I just got to know. So I'm going to check that other casino. So we're going to run a quick save. If you ever want to know how to check the, you know... Maybe you're curious how I look back at the other casino or whatever. Uh, we're just going to save it really quick here. And then what you have to do is you have to go to exit, go to main menu. It will then load your main menu, of course. Then you're going to go to load profile, find yours. Yep, I named it Chuck. Load it profile right here. And uh, when you load custom, if you hit continue, it will take you to the last casino you were at. But if you hit load, then you can choose which lot you want to look at. So this is Pine Corners. This is where we were before. I never actually named it before, but okay. So we'll head right back into this casino, which is so much smaller than the first one. Or than the second one. This is the first one. So much smaller. Oh my god, it looks like a baby, doesn't it? This is like... This is the kids' table. Man, look at this place. Uh, so I'm pretty sure... Like, this is that little spe that little section, right? So I'm pretty sure that if I was to go into D zone as the tool, I'd come like this and I see 37 by 20, man. That is the size of these things. Ah, well, you can you can clearly see the mismatch though, right? Look at this. One, two, and then one. All right, so we do want 38. Okay, that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna do it then. We're gonna go, we're gonna go 38 with this instead. So let's uh exit some nope, that's not. All right, I've changed my mind. We're going all the way to the wall with these things. So let's just get this uh, all the way to the wall. 
And we want 38 wide now. So this zone, which is a theater zone now, theater hall, should be 38 wide. There we go, 38 by 20. And then this one here is now 37 by 20. So I'm going to go one of these directions with this. And then this theater hall here, I believe, is now 38. I think I already adjusted this one. Yeah. So we've got the right size there. We'll need to go 38 with this one as well. All these theaters are going to be kind of copies of each other. So we're just going to go one more this way. That's why I kind of did it this way, just to sort of make sure I had space. So there we go, 37. So we're going to go one more this direction like that. And then it is now decided. So we're going to take the wall tool and bring it across. There we go. And take the same wall tool here and bring it across. All right, we have our theater zones. Well, actually, we almost have our theater zones. I think because... Uh, what's the difference here? This one is five wide on this side, and you are six wide. Well, that pretty much takes care of the decision. We'll go with this wall one this direction, and then we'll just go up. And there we go. Okay, theater zones are created. Let's just make sure I get rid of the walls and rezone this, and we're good to go. And now I should be able to center this, which I believe involves moving it over one, like so. All right, good. So this is centered. Let's make it centered on this side too. There we go. And we'll get it centered on this side as well. There we go. Now on this one, the theater will go this direction. Uh, the stage, I mean, will go this direction. And we'll go this direction with the stage here. Okay, so five areas with like big areas, big shows, right? We want lots and lots of people in there, right? And you know, honestly, it might serve me better to have an even bigger one, to be honest, which kind of is where I leave room up here to potentially do it again and bring it up to the fourth floor uh, later on. I'm, I'm trying to reserve the right to do that, right? But here you go, the two tall, everything is good here. So the next thing is trying to figure out where our balconies are gonna go in then. This is actually quite easy. So what we're gonna do is we're going to the second floor and we're just gonna have, I think just to make it easy to see, we'll go with a big contrast. How about a themed floor? And we're just gonna make a balcony that goes about, let's say here-ish, right? This is going to actually stretch across this whole area here, right? So we have this whole, like this is a top floor, but it's kind of floating a little bit, all right? I think this is kind of cool. And it goes all the way over like this. And actually, I think we can have it meet up with the stairs. I don't see any reason why not. Yeah, all the way, all the way right like this. There we go. And one more go and there we go okay and then we can put a door for the stairs right here too cool so this is like an upper floor but it's not but it is but it's not <laughs> okay and we'll go like this and all the way over like so about here should do the trick and then also on this side okay now I might extend this out more we'll see but for right now you come down and you're here you're in the, this grand hall sort of thing. Actually, I want to go one less. I've decided I want one less here. Uh, maybe even two less. For now, we'll go one less on this side. I want it to be even more grandiose than that. Okay. Now, we're going to employ the same sort of dual escalator thing that we did before. And I think right up against the wall is good. Yeah. I think right up against the wall here and then flip it around and also here. So now we have this area, right? And you can come up with the escalator and you can get up in here. And from here, you can get to the upper decks of all of these different theaters, right? You can now access the balconies for all of these, but not just the balconies. You can access the lower floor too, because we're gonna try to have the exact same sort of setup. I really like the other theater we had, and I'm going to try to kind of replicate that setup in here, which means there's going to be two sets of stairs for people to climb up into here. But thinking about accessibility, which is what I've been trying to do, right? Just like thinking about it, 
we need elevators as well, right? So there will be an elevator, uh, I think right about here, just the one. And we will go ahead and just have this at a floor above. Mm, that's pretty crowded, isn't it? Mm. All right, let's try something different here. Where are we going to do this at? For elevators, it, maybe we go all the way over to this side. So if you need if you need to go to the elevators, you take you get on this side and then you can access it differently. You know what? I've changed my mind again. We are going to do one more row. It's a little bit crowded here. So all the way over and I think I'm going to say this is my final answer on that. <laughs> so we're going to take the fence and we're just going to lock it down right now. All the way over like so. All right, there's our balcony. Grand balcony as it is. And uh, so I think for the for the elevators, let's copy the design. Hello. Bring you over here. Okay. And we're just going to drop you down, place you here. And then let's flip you around and go this way. And again, you don't really need this, but I'm thinking about accessibility. People in wheelchairs want to see the place too, right? Um, I think it's just one over. I'm trying to line it up. It's just one. Yep, one bot. Okay, all the way over, and we go one bot in. That doesn't look right to me. It is though. Exactly how it is. Okay, add floor above. There we go, and we come over here, and we add floor above, and there we go. So we have these little elevators that'll just take them to this floor. It's That's all it is, right? But it's for the theater. So if you're just trying to get up here quick, right in the center, right? Here's the stage. You could just go up there, right? Good to go. Now, we'll have ticket sales and stuff in a ticket booth that should be like right, right here, I think. So people can come in from this side, go get a ticket. Come in from this side, go get a ticket. There'll be a lot of people hanging out in this area. And they're all getting tickets and either going up or going around, right? That's where they're going. All right, so let's get that ticket booth going. So we're going to take the false wall. Absolutely, this little wall tool right here. And I think we just go in about like this. Around. And I think we're just going to connect it right underneath the stairs. Yeah. That's got to be the way to do it. Hey, that looks pretty good. You know, not going to lie. It looks like it fits. Okay. So for ticket booths, we're going to get uh, the box office, whatever you want to call it, right? We're going to get a bunch of these because there's going to be huge demand, lots of shows all the time. We need lots of these. So I'm going to put it in. I'm not entirely sure how many of these we're going to need here. Uh, why don't we copy the schedule first? The first thing I'd like to do is make sure the whole thing is closed uh, all day for now. So the whole schedule is closed, right? We, we're closed all day. Copy this. Paste it here, paste it here, and paste it here. Excellent. So we don't have anybody coming in here trying to get tickets at the moment. Not that I think they would, but mostly I just don't want people standing here at the booths because there's no shows. Looks like I'm going to have to... Ah, gross. It's always an odd number. Damn it. I know. I care. Imagine. Imagine the horror when I realized that I too care about the symmetry of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this right here needs to move over. And now we're basically symmetrical. We've got a little extra space in the middle here. We'll put some garbage bins or something there. But that's our theater windows, okay? Oh, wow. The schedules didn't carry over. Great. Let's make sure these are all closed. And good. I shouldn't have anybody hired to work here right now. Excellent. All right. Good. Ticket windows are in. And then, of course, the staff will enter in on... They can't even get in there, so I guess they wouldn't have done it anyway. But we're going to get uh, staff door put in on this side. Yep. Should be there. And also right there. Okay. Okay. Haven't decided what I want the color for the walls and stuff in here to be yet, but 
I think just copying over and keeping the same thing is probably fine. The rest of the casino is looking pretty good like this, so I think we'll play it. I think we'll just have all of the walls in the theater be the same color here, too. No big deal. And inside the theaters, though, that might be a little bit different. We might do something different with those. I don't know. But we've got we've got this rocking right now, okay? So the next thing to do... Well, okay, first off, the next thing to do is to make sure that these are the same way, too. There we are. And that's good. Okay. Next thing to do is figure out the uh, dressing room situation. Now, I don't know if you need single, like, individual dressing rooms. That's, the, like, the question mark I have here. But... The thing I do know is that the dressing rooms don't need to have tall ceilings, which means all of our dressing rooms can entirely fit in this area because we can do this floor and this floor with entirely different dressing rooms. So let's figure out how much space we need for these. I don't know if we need individual ones, but what I'm hoping for is that we're going to have a private elevator for these guys to be right in here and uh, or a staircase or something, maybe stairs, I don't know. But we're going to have a, a private way for these guys to get up to the top floor if they want to and move their move themselves to another floor. So let's, let's say, for example, we have the dressing rooms here, but I do decide to employ a stage up here. If that's the case, the elevator will just take them directly to this floor. They won't have to go out into the public and walk around to the stairs or anything like that, right? Because there's currently no elevator that goes up there, right? There's, like, they're going to have to walk all the way over here to get to the elevators. So they're going to need their own elevator or... Uh, they can use these stairs to get up there uh, quicker, okay? So for the dressing rooms, I need to play around with this a little bit, I think. Uh, but single dressing room. Each performer will require their own private room to get changed in. Okay, so it needs to be fully enclosed with the door. Minimum three by three. So we do need individual ones. So if it's minimum three by three, we can go... Let's say three by four for these guys. So one, one, two, three, four, and then three by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Four, four. It goes this way, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two. God, I can swear to God. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. It's supposed to be three. I don't know why this one's four, because I'm dumb. I guess we're going four by four here. You know what? I'm just going to do 4x4 because four four it's probably easier. Uh, it's probably not easier, but it's faster for me, I guess. I didn't think it was, but I guess. We'll go 4x4 four four on the gym, and the dressing room will be like this, and then the gym is 4x4 four four like this. Yep. Is this 4x4? Four four? Yahtzee. All right, that's what we're going to be doing right there. So let's dezone that, and it marks my zones. Perfect. And then all I want to do for this is uh, we're going to have like a hallway kind of thing here, right? So this is uh, this is the hallway into some of the dressing rooms. Hi, autosave. And then uh, this hallway needs to carry them over to somewhere else too. So, and then we'll have like a bathroom area for all of them too. Although don't the private, do the private dressing rooms need a bathroom? Each one, does each one need a bathroom? Merge with another private room. Must not be inside a staff protected area. I wonder if they need their own. I think I thought I remember that being a, being the case, but I don't remember. If I click this, uh, I don't remember. I'll just let's just go with it for now. So this is another single dressing room by four. We're gonna go down two so that we have a two wide walkway. There we go. So this is a four by four space as well. And then we are going to have it here. And then the rest of this will all mark for gym for the time being. And then actually probably can't do this one. I need to leave this open, I think, because of they need to be able to walk to their dressing rooms, right? So already we have nine rooms. This is more than any single play will ever need is right here. And I think because the four by four is working so well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I need to go ahead and check out whether or not we need the bathrooms, though. So why don't we build this row and see what it wants? I think that's the best call probably for now. So we'll do this. Let's build one. 
if this is going to be the case here, we'll have a locked door, which goes to the dressing room. And then inside the dressing room, they need a wardrobe, it says. So we'll just give them one. And then they need a makeup booth, it says. So we'll give them one. How about on this side, like that? And I don't know if that's it. If there's anything else they need. Required its own wardrobe, uh, makeup booth. I have that. Can I be reached by the bus stop? We can fix that. Um, temporarily, we're going to go... Uh, I guess temporarily, we'll just slap this in here. That should allow them to access the bus stop now. All right, so I need to let it play in order for this to register, I think. Card zone makeup booth, we did that. Um, all right, there it goes. So now it says requirements not met, but they're all three. So I should see this ping and be good. And then I'm gonna try to dress it up just a little bit more. So we'll put in a light in the side, kind of like this. There's the, there's the white text that we've been looking for. And I think we'll put another one maybe over here. So there's like two sources of light sort of thing in here. Not sure how high to put this. That's three bricks up and three bricks up, okay. And then uh, I think probably a plant or something in here. Just something for them to look at, right? Do they need anything else? I still I still feel like they need a, their own bathroom. If I click this, no, it doesn't really... Ooh, you know what? I wonder. All right, hold on. If I was to mark, let me let me dezone this really quick. So if I make this its own bathroom, just just for a little bit here, if I go like this as a testing run, because I don't remember how this works. If I go interior door, and then I just make this whole thing. Let's say, uh, wow can't find the toilet why can't I find it there's the urinal where's the stall it's over here wow brain fart all right there it is and uh, that's not what I wanted cool awesome default me to the, the the profits menu on that great if I go like this that should take care of all the requirements for a private bathroom no it requires a shower ooh Right, because this is the private one, not the public one, of course. This can go away. Bye. I'm looking for... <laughs> this is the private one, not the public one, dummy. Let's go into the hospitality menu. It's a little easier to find it there, I think. And then uh, we'll just give them a shower. Right? Because that's what they need. So this, this meets the requirements. I thought there was a way to tag it up. Like, you had to specifically... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Specifically specify uh, which like dressing room this went to, I thought. But maybe that's not the case anymore. Not assigned to any private room, such as a dressing room or a bathroom. It must be accessible from a room through a non-private door. All right. So it has to be assigned. And it has to be assigned by attaching it. That's what I was wondering. So I think what we'll do here is we're gonna take the bathrooms away. I don't need this stuff anymore. Here's how we'll design the dressing rooms. Go ahead and do that and like, hi, this. We're faulting to the finance menu on toilets. All right, so here's what I'd like to do. We're gonna, we're gonna do these ones a little bit different. Oh, why can't I copy that whole thing? It's all right. Um, so first thing I wanna do is dismantle this wall. Second thing I want to do is dezone all of this. And I'll go ahead and dezone this too, because they're they're perfect squares and we know that it'll fit nicely. So we're gonna take the clone tool like so. Yep. Oh, you're cloning the tall walls, that's why. I see. Um mm. okay. Okay, fine. We'll say no walls then. And uh, that, that, of course, defaults to meaning no wall objects as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you out to about here, I think. And then we'll have a private bathroom behind this. Is there a minimum size to this? I didn't check this. Three by two. Okay. So let's move this again. And as long as we leave a three by two space behind this, 
the dressing rooms can go like this. And then their own private bathroom will be back behind this. Each one can have their own private bathroom like this. So we're just going to take and dismantle this and then rezone all of it. Let's just let's just get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. All right. And then the walls are going to go out like this over. Well, I guess it was going to go over, but now that there's doors there, somehow the doors got to stay. Love it. Cuz they're objects and I copied them. There we go. And then the walls need to go right behind the makeup. That's where the dressing rooms get split. There we go. And then on the interior as well, right in here like this. And then each one of these ends up being their own private bathroom. And they'll have a, let's say a toilet. Uh, yeah. Let's put it this way. It's a little less cramped this way. And then the shower is going to be on this side like that. And then we just need to mark it as a private bathroom. So we'll just do that there. That's okay if all of this is marked too. And then uh, the interior door there to get in. Okay. So the only thing now is it needs a sink, right? Um, whew. Fitting in a sink. Okay. Um, how about we move the toilet to be on this side and then we just need like a really simple sink, right? It doesn't have to be like special or anything, does it? Can it be just this little thing here? I think that's probably just fine. Yeah, that works. Okay. So we'll copy this stuff and we'll just paste it in like so. And there we go. So private bathrooms for each of the dressing rooms. And they just require an enclosed space, which you have. How do you not have an enclosed space? Are you, are you sure? Unless you mean this. Do you mean that this needs to be like, this can't be there. Is that what you're saying? requires enclosed space. I'm a bit lost on that because this is definitely enclosed unless you know what? I bet it's this door thing. Yeah. The door is copied, but there's no wall there. So it doesn't think it's an enclosed space. Had to be that. Okay. We'll just make sure that the rest of this is wall like that. And then we'll put in the doors once again. It's these little troubleshooting things you just got to think about sometimes. Like, how is the game thinking? Try to think like the game, you know? All right, so these should turn white now if my... Oh, good. Wow, a full system crash again. It's 100% RAM, guys. The game uses 100% of my RAM and completely crashes my system. That's... I don't know what to tell you. I'm looking at a blue screen of death right now. It literally says your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're collecting some error info and we'll restart for you. Yeah, I know. Windows.com slash stop code. Jesus. All right, so we're just going to continue. Uh, and the best way to do this, I think, how I've been doing it in the past to avoid that problem is to just keep it, keep it paused. Uh, keep it paused. It seems like it doesn't use any additional resources or it doesn't add on to additional ram usage at least it doesn't look like so uh we'll keep going it didn't save any of my stuff but you know what let's fine so our dressing rooms actually don't even need to be four by four we can make them a little bit better uh we can make a, a, little, a few more of them i guess by going by uh you know like a little bit more in but it doesn't matter whatever so uh let's take the wall tool and we're just going to rebuild these and then we'll whip them out real real quick here so uh, we're gonna do this and just double checking. Yes, okay, that's the problem, but it's okay. Uh, I think actually we could probably just make this entire area right here. I don't know whether or not we're gonna use this as a theater or if this is all gonna be dressing rooms. So, but we could potentially even just bring in the floor the whole way here if we want to. In any case, uh, here's our dressing room and we're actually gonna need to make the walls ourselves so one two three four so it goes one two three four yep because when we copy this we are not going to be able to do the walls 
for cloning either because of the tall walls. I don't want to really copy those over. So uh, here's our here's our zones, single dressing room, and then a private bathroom right here. And we're just gonna add a sink, say on this side. We'll just do two of them. It's it's fine. Um, add this one there. Add this one there. Then the toilets can go there and there. And then the showers can go here and here. Yeah, like like that. There it goes, finally. All right, and then we'll have the interior door there and there. And then our locked uh, door is here and here with the dressing room stuff inside it. Let's do a bigger wardrobe, because we can. I mean, we have the room, so let's just do it. And then the makeup can be on this side, maybe even just centered. We could go centered with it. I think that's probably fine. So uh, I think we have to let it play in order for this to register. But the other thing we have to do is I still need to provide a door here just so it will, yeah, so it will register. So we'll just add an extra door like right there. And it should start reading as though it can reach where it needs to reach. Part of its own wardrobe, we need to do all that stuff too, it's fine. So uh, we'll just copy this over real quick and then copy this one. And that should take care of it. And then if we, I don't know if there's a grade to this. It doesn't seem like there is. So uh, this is probably like not the bare minimum per se, but it's it's good enough. And if we really wanted to, uh, you know, take care of our talent, if you will, uh, we could add a couple of plants in here like that. And uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, some pictures or whatever on on their, on their walls, we could do something like this. You know, just to give them something to look at. Give them a little bit of, uh, Art, in, artistic inspiration, okay? That's what we're doing here. Artistic inspiration. Uh, right about like that. Okay, so let's just say that's good for now. And then uh, for, we're gonna have to pause it so I don't have to worry about the memory problems. And then what I wanna do, this is, a, this is still a too tall wall here, so. Um, actually, it's up against the too tall wall, so it doesn't matter. So we can clone this whole area. Just go like this, but I don't want you to copy the walls. Don't copy the walls. Uh, wall objects? Eh. Wall objects, yes. Walls, no. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, here's here's how it is. Yeah, copy everything, and then we'll go this way. That was the whole reason for making two of them. Yeah, duh. There we go. And done. All right, so we have our dressing rooms. Five dressing rooms with their own private bathrooms, ready to rock. And yeah, these will all meet the requirements. It just takes a little bit for it to register. And we can, you know, mix up and do different artwork for each one or something if we want to. And, you know, just make sure they're all nice and happy like like that. Same thing with these. You know, maybe add uh, some unique character to each room, you know? Yeah, like that. So uh, I'll be keep I'll keep replicating this throughout this whole area. I would like to have, let's assume every single theater is, is operating at the exact same time, right? So all five of these are going at once. Let's say the potential is seven actors per show. So we're gonna need 35 dressing rooms to max those out. But wait, there's more. There's also smaller, uh, there's also smaller theaters too that we're gonna have, right? And those I think will probably have them staged up like up in here and stuff right so the lower ones are the big ones and then uh smaller ones and stuff will happen and uh, if that's the case well then we're gonna need even more than that which is why i have two floors of dressing rooms here and here all going to be dressing rooms and you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put the floor in for that right now so we're just gonna take this and go like so because we might as well you know just put it all in you know you're gonna use it and I think we can easily fit like 50 dressing rooms, right? I think we can get 50 dressing rooms in this and this, like between all of these. I may need to adjust this to be one more in, and I probably should do that, to be honest, because, uh, well, it doesn't need to be this wide out. Like I can get away with putting the wall right here instead, for example. It totally, It's totally valid to do that. And it would provide me with just that little extra space that's gonna allow me to get over the mark, I think. So I think um, I think that's the new plan. 
is to go in at it like this. And then we also need these little tiny walkways, you know, to get to the different doors. And I need to figure out where I want that to be. So let me do all of that just to kind of figure out how to fit them all in. I'm gonna take care of that and then I'll be right back. And this video is getting a little long and we haven't even gotten the actual seats in the theater. So, but I wanted to take you guys through the process and that's the process for design. The process for here, I've already walked you through because this is like a carbon copy of the other the other casino. Um, so I don't know if I necessarily need to walk you through all these. It's gonna be exactly like we did before in each one of these. The dimensions of these are exactly on. So uh, I will, I'll be right back when I've got this area fixed up for you. All right, I'm telling you, feature request. Allow me to move entire rooms, move whole rooms with everything, including walls, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, this took way longer than it needed to. Like, there's just no way I would have like been able to record this and just show you. I'd have like a terabyte of footage. Uh, okay, so this is what I've come up with as sort of the idea to fit them all in. And uh, I think it's, in the end, it ends up being very simple, but I tried a lot of different combinations and it takes manual deconstruction of all the walls to move a room. Uh, but I've ended up with this. I think it looks somewhat organized. It may not look it, but it's somewhat organized. And uh, like, if I had to go back, I'm not gonna do it. But if I had to go back, I'd probably move this arrangement right here and just slide it over one tile just so this is too wide. But like, these are all really narrow walkways. One tile walkways to get into these rooms. That's the only way, man. It's the only way. So we have one, two, three, four, five along the wall. That's 10 total on there. And then we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I really wanted 30. But there's just, just no good way to do it. It's just not happening. So 29 dressing rooms in just this little area. And you know what the really great part about that is? We can go clone on all of it like this and hopefully not crash and then go up one floor and go like this. Boom. And just like that, guys, just like that, we have way over 50 dressing rooms. We are so good to go. No matter how many plays we do here, we've got dressing rooms for days. Now, I've left extra wide areas right here, and that's because... We're going to use this as where the stairs go. So uh, we're just going to have a staircase run up to like this. In this area right there. And then in this area. Uh, i got to figure out how far away that is from the edge. So we went in one, two. Yeah. So we come in like this and we go one, two. So we have stairs that run this way, right? And that brings them up to this floor like it was planned the whole time, huh? No doors on this side or anything, but I do want the railings. So let's just grab these uh, this fence railing here. And we're just gonna draw that in like that. There we go. And just like that, I think we have more dressing rooms than we'll need in this little space, which is great. Now, if we do need an elevator for some reason, which I don't think we will, but if for some reason we do need an elevator, I can take out this right here. I, I plan to take out this dressing room and turn that into an elevator. So we'll lose two dressing rooms, but we gain immediate access and direct access to this floor, which could house additional dressing rooms if we need to. But that's pretty much it for the theater area. That's, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, it looks so simple when you look at it now. And that's usually how the solutions are. When you, Once you see them, you're like, oh yeah, that looks easy. Uh, this took, I, I'm sorry, it just <laughs> put too much time into this. I, it's because I care, okay? It's because I care. Speaking of which, uh, this, copy design, pretty please, and paste it here. Yep, and same thing here. Very good. And you know what? We gotta, we gotta get the, like, this, is, this isn't the way I want this. Like, this is all bland and gray and, no. We gotta be, we are thespians. We must act like it with theater performance. I think we'll just use this. It looks, it looks, I don't know. It looks interesting. I might change it, <laughs> but I'm gonna use that for now. Or we could take the themed walls, I suppose, but nah, I've used these kind of all over the place. Although this one's not bad. What happens if I use this one, but I make it green? Ooh, no. Gold, no. How about really dark? No, it's just like at, at a certain point you go dark and it just doesn't look good anymore, you know? Big bright pink. 
nah. We'll leave it like this for now. Individual dressing rooms. I, I think maybe just white, you know? Like, they don't need to have, be, have any special color to them, and I think most of the time you kind of want them to be white, right? Because white reflects off the wall, uh, the light reflects off of it, you can get better lighting on your makeup and all that stuff, and I think that's kind of where the mindset is on this. For this area, we'll just go white on all these rooms. I probably should have chosen or decided this before making all these rooms, especially an entirely new floor of them. Yeah, <laughs> probably should have. But I didn't, because I'm already in the mode of doing everything the hard way, so I might as well just continue. So, yeah, this is uh, Charlie Paint's walls. That's what this video is now. You're welcome. I think uh, what I probably will end up doing is ending the video here. So this is like theater part one, and then we'll have theater part two, which will, of course, be all of these. But now that we have the dressing rooms in place, we don't have to worry about whether or not we have enough people to actually do the job. That was the worry is whether we're going to have enough people that can, you know, get dressed and where are they going to get dressed and how are they going to move around? Well, it's easy. It's this. And honestly, now it's time to move this door. Yeah, there we go. So I'll move that door in the center. Come on up and do the same thing here. Kind of move the door right there. There we go. Now, I did have to widen this out. You may look at this and think it's a little bit wider in order to get this done. And I did. Because after fiddling around with this thing the whole time, me wanting 50 plus, I want more than 50 dressing rooms, by trying to do that, it just wasn't working. So I had to make it a little bit wider. So I went out three tiles this way and three tiles this way on both the top and uh, bottom floors here for the dressing rooms. And uh, that resulted in these theaters actually merging right with the staircase. So uh, they end up going right to the staircase. They're still 38 by 20, still the same size or still the right size. And uh, we basically just have the doors to the staircase being on this side now, instead of being here and on the sides, we don't really need two different entrances. So there we go. There's only one way into the stairs and that's through here. They were gonna be coming from that way anyway, really. So it didn't. It doesn't really affect me much here. And uh, eh, let's keep that where it was, I guess. So uh, I think I'm gonna, are we calling this video here? I don't know exactly where, um, where I am on time, because it's just been a lot for me. It's a blur for me. Uh, but you guys might remember how this whole arrangement goes. I am gonna go reference the other the other casino right now so I can figure out where that is. And once I get this in place here, I can just copy that to all of these. And then I have to deal with the balconies and where that's gonna be in these. And uh, the balcony area is, I think, fairly straightforward because we already have this upper floor with this balcony, which I may actually keep this blue. I may keep the blue, man. I don't think I'm gonna keep it in here. I think I want carpet through this. Yeah, I think this whole area should be carpet. And you know what? We could do something, do something a little bit wacky here. Ooh, that doesn't. I don't. I don't know about that. Let's get rid of the toggle zones. Yeah. So, uh, for the carpet on the theater area, for the dressing rooms, I wonder. I get. I think we'll go with this purple carpet here. It looks pretty nice. We'll go with this on the bottom floor here too, but then it doesn't match the walls. Yeah, I think we're changing the walls to match this. How about we go paneling? This is okay. I wouldn't say it's great. Um, I would say maybe if we adjusted it slightly towards the purple tone. Oh wow. that's This is very purple now. It works. I mean, it's very purple but it does match. <laughs> it's so purple. You know what? Let me know what you guys think. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. How should we go about this? And, uh, you know, the materials and stuff that we use for each of these rooms. Let me know how you feel. Uh, I think I'm, I am going to end it here, though. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We're going to hit part two of our theater experience is going to be just putting the seats and stuff in each of these. Most of this is going to be designing a single one and then copy pasting. But it is what it is. And then we need the smaller theaters as well, don't we? We need to figure out where those are. I'm still tempted to place them here. And then, of course, we're going to have the... Um, the upper floor balconies to get up in those and that will also house this awesome restaurant here Ooh, this almost looks cool with the you know with these underneath it right it looks pretty cool 
to have the glass just kind of continuing underneath that whole the whole area i do I, i'm digging that yeah we might go all the way around we'll see anyways i'm gonna leave it here though guys thanks so much for watching i hope we'll see you next time bye bye